turnover Wednesday. Okay, so we spend a lot of time in our in our practice schedule of talking about turnover and turf work and some kind of turnover drills. What do we do? Our inside run at, in the practice, we do not condition traditionally. Okay, we just don't do it. At, on Wednesdays, on inside run, seven on seven or team, they have to get a turnover as a group. So that's in seven on seven. They, again, if it was not an interception, you know, a guy caught a ball there and they come in there, wrap up, and punch that ball out and get the ball out. They have to get a turnover on whatever Wednesday. Okay, or they have to run out the practice. It's just that mentality of we're really focusing on getting turnovers that day. Okay, so Monday, again, nothing special. Tuesday, we'll do that tackle thing. So Wednesday, what I'm going to go through right now is a typical Wednesday of some of the turnover stuff that we do. So we're in this first station over here. What I like to do, especially early in spring, as I'm learning who the kids are, we know we have kids coming up to the rink. A lot of kids I don't even know their names yet. Is I'll stay in one station, and each coach, we have four coaches, each coach has a station. So now we get to coach every kid. So I get to learn, hey, that, that's Jason. You know, there's something about him, and, and maybe, man, he can really fit in our 3-4 our package a little bit better, or, you know, those type of things. So I can coach every kid. Okay, so the first station we would do is the footwork station. Okay, so there's one guy here. Good, that's Colin Stokes. Those, all those phones over there? Yeah. Okay. Oh. You know what's mine. Say we have 40 kids on the team. There's 10 kids over here doing this for two minutes. 10 kids over here doing this for two minutes. And maybe I have the corners or the safeties in this group. And I see a guy that's gonna really drop his shoulder and lean. What am I thinking? Man, I can play that guy some nickel and bring, bring him off the edge. Okay, so there's some things that I want to do that we can start seeing what kind of body types we have and certain things that, that certain kids might be able to fit the better deal. Okay, so again, first legs up. Again, all you can do is run around the hoop all the way through, lean and through. Okay, you don't have to go full speed. I know. Jump forward, set, go. Okay, turn through, turn through, all the way through, and finish next guy. Okay, so again, as we're doing this, we want to make sure we're leaning into it. There's times when the D-line guys do it, they'll have a little towel here they got to pick up. Okay, so again, get going through here, set, go. Again, we usually paint these, okay, but I want to see who can turn their body and lean. Okay, set, go. Times where we make two hoops and they have to run a figure eight. Okay, so we're gonna do some kind of footwork drill to get those guys kind of moving around. We've also we can do step overs. Okay, let's pretend these are big step overs. Um, and we would basically step over each one. Like the person that's <coughs> that go. Yep, step over, step over, yep, tap. Next guy, next guy, hurry up. Okay, stay here. So come back the other way. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pretend again. Step over, start to your left, and shuffle through. Okay, get facing. I want to see your eyes up. Set, go. Nice, nice. Okay, shuffle through, shuffle through, shuffle through. Okay, so we'll keep going, go through. So again, whatever footwork drills we want to do, again, maybe they'd be over here. Next time, go. For about two minutes, two and a half minutes, there'd be four stations going on. The first station we do is some kind of footwork drill. We try to change that up a little bit in spring. You know, there's a thousand one footwork drills. I'm not saying which ones you should use, but we've ran figure eight. We've done step overs, those type of things. Got it? Any questions there? All right, the second one that we use to grab the footballs is some kind of takeaway drill. Okay? So let's go over the different ways we teach this. Okay? So he's the ball carrier. Okay? Okay? If I can see, if I can see the ball here exposed a little bit, okay? We'll, we'll call that, we'll basically punch the ball out. We'll go here, secure the tackle. And now we will punch the ball out. And when I do this, I want to separate. I want to separate the elbow from the body. Okay, so separate the elbow from the body. Now, if I don't see any ball, there's no reason to try to get that. Right? I'm chasing behind. I can see the ball a little bit. I'm going to go through and kind of get the ball up and out. Okay, so right now I've got the ball starting. Just shoot the ball. Partner up. Okay. Again, we tell these guys don't make, don't make it impossible for them, but obviously make it work. Well, what we don't want to do is bounce the ball like this. Okay. So, give them a little bit of something to punch. Okay, so you want to secure. Okay, and 
go through it again. As we're punching, we want to make sure what happens. His elbow goes where? Away from his body. Get his elbow away from the body. Okay? Half speed jog. That's a little half speed jog. Good. Go. Yep. Half speed jog. Good. Step. Go. Okay, so here, elbow away from the body. Again, next guy. Over here. Go. Okay, again, get that elbow away. So here, get that elbow away. Put your head down. Good job. Good. Step. Go. Here. Ball out. Okay, so again, this is another group of guys. 10 guys, 12 guys, whatever it is. And again, sometimes we'll do one or two different drills. Okay, but again, this one we call punch because we see the ball exposed. Okay, the next one, we don't see the ball exposed. So he's got, he's got nice time tight. His elbows are your tight. We're now going to do the same thing. We're now going to go over the top. Okay, get our hand on it and now rip the ball out. We call it tomahawk. Tomahawk rip. Okay, let's do it from here. Again, make it work, but don't be fooling around with that. Okay, set, go. So here, go to the top, the ball. Okay, next guy. Okay, when we talk about doing this, one of the coaching points that we use is this, the speed of the drill, okay, is about a half speed drill. The actual getting the ball out is full speed. Okay, so again, you are guy, you're gonna jog it, half speed, jog half speed. But now once you try to get the ball out, that's not a half speed part of it. This is now full speed, get the ball out. Okay? So again, it's a half speed jog, full speed strip. And be using the quarterback's arm. <laughs> I asked you if you were, it was okay. At least we're not taking it down. Set, go. Alright, guys, we're gonna get hit. Okay. Alright, so there's two of the ones we do from, from behind. Uh, one of the ones that we do quite a bit of is you're the ball carrier. <coughs> you are here, take some. Quarterback. Alright, split ball in the right hand. Okay, this is gonna be called wrap and strip. Okay, so he's going to jog here. You're going to make a nice run. You tap it from behind. Okay, now once he's tapping, you're going to come in here and you're going to strip the ball out. Okay, now you're going to sit here. This is what he's just saying. You either rip the hands or rip the fingers off the ball or try to get the ball out here. Okay, come back. The key here is the guy that's going to be the guy that's going to wrap him up is only going to be about three yards apart. Okay, you're going to be about five yards apart. You're not going for the ball until you know what? The tap is here. Okay, you see him coming in. one we do is kind of a change up the kids like this a little bit. Uh, if you see us play on film and you see the ball on the ground, okay, you will, you, if you're not down there fighting for the ball, you will see our guys running the screen and they'll be pointing, okay? And when we point, we say first down, first down, first down. We don't say our ball. Okay, the rest don't know our ball. They understand if it's second down, if it's on, first down, if you're pointing that way, okay? We've gotten a handful of balls that we should never got. But we got all their wishing their point, first down, first down, first down. We had one a couple years ago against Central Catholic, and literally the kids were coming off the field just laughing, like, Coach, we didn't get the ball. They had the ball 100%, but we sold it to the reps. So one of the drills we do for that, we have a, we have a change of drill. So, ball carrier. Yeah, you're the second guy. You're the second guy. Third guy here. So, you guys are going to start, you're going to keep following them, don't go anywhere. You're going to now make that same tackle, okay, or same trick. Where's the ball? You see the ball, go ahead and tuck it out. You don't see the ball, go ahead and tomahawk it. Okay, the ball's now gone out, okay? You, got, you will come in here and out and recover the ball. Obviously, I don't want you going down for it right now, but you've now gone down and recovered. We'll do recovery drills in a second, okay? Now, you kind of been following. You see there, you're, you're down on the ground, we're fighting for the ball. Okay, you have it, perfect. <laughs> you guys all are coming up, and you're pointing first down, first down, first down. Okay? 
Actually, it was just easier on that way because it's plainly the other. So again, that's not something we do very. That's not something we do every week. That's just kind of change up. The kids get all excited, and you know we let them do a little celebration dance afterwards or whatever. But but just of the fact that we're putting it all together. We have a strip. We have a recovery. And again, on film, again every turnover, we watch film on Monday. You'll see our guys, and we'll call guys out. Why are you not pointing? Jason, why are you not pointing? Do you not believe in this? Are you, are you not with us? Are you against us? Or are you with us against us? Okay, so again, I go down for the ball and just go down and bend down. Okay, set, go. Okay, ball's out. Keep jogging up, jogging up, jogging up. Okay, you jogging the ball. Okay, I'm first down, first down, first down, first down, first down. Right up there. <laughs> We want to go down and prenatal the ball. Okay, so we'll do a drill. We do prenatal. Okay, then we'll do also do. Sorry, but we'll also do one where we go scoop and score. Okay, so again, the ball is on the ground. We talk about scoop and score. What we want to do is attack the ball out on a side. <coughs> it's not used to ropes. We do like roll on grass. By the way. Okay, so we want to attack the ball from the side. When you see guys all the time, the ball is on the ground. They come up and they try to reach down and do it. What do they end up doing? Picking it. Okay, their arms aren't long enough. So when, we, when the ball is rolling around on the side. We pick a side, we're going to swing both arms and come up. Okay, so again, I will do a drill. And I don't know how it's going to roll on this. Okay, I'll just kind of just roll it. I'm going to go up really quick. So I'll do it like that. Okay, so we go. Pick a side, swing his arms and roll up. Good. Just like that. Okay, so we're going to go ten minutes, ten minutes. Okay, pick a side, swing your arms. So again, swing. Okay, so again, if we do miss the ball, just miss the ball. Into the ball. Not all the way. And you don't get all the way up. At least it's going the way we want it to be going. Okay, so again, we will go prenatal, okay, and then we will go scoop and score. So the, the one who comes through. Okay, I'll come over here, and I'll just completely bounce the ball to see how it bounces. Yep. All right, here we go. And again, you guys go and swing it. Okay, and then I'll do the next one, we'll do it where it's kind of spinning around a little bit. Okay, and again, we got to just do it at different angles. So they're used to bending down, okay, not going straight in the ball because they end up kicking it and taking them good angles. Okay, go we'll do the same thing with prenatal real quick. Um, Yes, let's get down some. Oh, you do. Prenatal, all the way down. We don't know what we're doing. We don't know what we're doing. Okay, but get on the ground. So, okay, here's the deal. So, the ball's on the ground, you want to go and cover it up. So, we're going to get down the ball, all the way down. Okay, bring your knees in here. Now, here's the thing problem. Now, shoulders up. What's going to happen if somebody lands on it? Shoulder in trouble. Tuck your elbow underneath it. Okay, bring both legs in, okay, and cover up the ball. So, nobody can come in here and rip it out. Go ahead, stand up. One of the keys is, and we talk about this all the time, we lost a ball. We were playing the state finals. We the, 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 the guy running the ball. <coughs> DD uh, got beat. He comes around this angle, secures the ball, punches the ball out. Great. Ball is out. Okay? The corner coming from this angle comes in and scoops the ball up. Perfect scoop. Or three out. He comes down the ball. What he does is he rolls over. As soon as he rolls over the ball, you hear it. What pounds the ball? He goes up. So I was talking about when you go down to the prenatal for the ball, come down slide, keep your elbow underneath you, and tuck the ball over. Okay, our guy came up and tried to basically pick it up here and prenatal by rolling over, and the ball went straight up the air and they ended up getting the ball. It was about 25 yard gains one. Okay, so those are some of the examples that we do. Again, this would be the third station. So the first station 
is some kind of footwork drill. Two and a half minutes, so on. Then we have takeaway drill, a recovery drill. Again, those are the ones we like to do. See if there's anything else I missed on this. Anything else? Okay. okay. So the last session that we do, okay, is we're gonna keep doing more turnovers, or we're gonna do a fundamental drill where we're gonna talk about block protection. Okay, so again, they're gonna come over here in their group. Okay. Uh, they basically get into their four station. They get a break over there. You know, whatever position group they are, it's like on three linebackers, one, two, three linebackers. They come over and sprint over here for their fourth and final session. Okay, so in here, we would do some kind of block protection. Okay, so no ball. Uh, so I'm the sled right now, okay? So again, just for now, I'm the sled. So we would go through different ways we got on blocks. Okay, so we're gonna go through uh, rip first and then swim. So you would take a step with this foot, and now you're going to rip nice and low, you're gonna rip through me. Lift this foot up, I'm sorry. I'm gonna go here, you got it. So here, and then I'm gonna rip, stay nice and low, and throw my elbow to the sky. Okay, elbow to the sky. Again, I'll just be like this on the sled. Yep, and then you can go on the side. And throw, yep. You wanna be nice and tight. We wanna exaggerate all those movements. We wanna get our elbow as high as we can right now. Okay, so let's get a little, give me a line. Some different ways that we can do. Uh, we know whatever fits into your scheme, rip or swim. Again, we'll do these same circuit stuff uh, in positions. Okay, so hey, because we're doing something else, maybe the, the secondary guys are working on some kind of option type stuff. The D line have a bunch of end of line. So there's some kind of footwork drill that's specific, okay, for them. Okay, the hoops is pretty good for them. They'll go over here and do a specific uh, strip, strip drill, some kind of recovery drill. Maybe that strip drill is on a quarterback, okay? Quarterbacks drop me, you know, on a hoop. So, here's a quarterback. So, I'm going to try to rip your arm off. Okay, so again, now we're talking about a, a, a takeaway drill that is good for blitzers or for just defensive line. Okay, you're going to be able to run on a hoop. Okay, so again, they're going to be in a stance. Coach will have a, a, a ball to do their get off. So, I can do that. He's going to have the ball up. He needs to come over here and try to get the ball out. Okay, again, we can do this on a dummy, or we can do we also don't use our own quarterback on this. Okay, or we can do it on the back side. Now here, you can react, okay, without hurting your quarterback. Okay, come out here. Okay, you can be a defensive lineman or a linebacker, blitzing off the edge. Okay, you can get the edge and pull out. Set, go. Run that hoop, run that hoop, and it's Jack. Okay, next guy. Set, go. So, okay, this could be something you can do. Okay, we always got the Okay, this is something we can do if just a defensive lineman. They want to do something specific. This is something they should be doing every day. As a defensive lineman, they should be running the hoop. Okay, or every game they're gonna do that, run that hoop, and then come down here and try to pass the ball out. And obviously, if you're a DB and you never blitz, that's not a very realistic drill. Okay, so again, that's kind of more position or position specific. Okay, we're talking about our four state here is a block protection. Same thing. You might do something where it's a open field uh, stop block with a corner and receiver. Okay, that's not realistic if you have the linebackers over here or you have, especially the D linemen over here. Okay, so sometimes as we rotate through, 
okay, hey, what group do I have right now? I have a D-line. So here's the drill we're going to do for block protection. Okay, now the linebacker grouping. It's a completely different drill. They kind of put those kids in a, uh, not a generic way, but a more specific way of being able to play that. Okay. All right, do you have any questions with that? Okay, so again, that's usually, we don't do that every week. But we do it through spring and summer, I'm sorry, in the season. We try to get through it on Wednesdays. When we talk about turnover Wednesdays, we can kind of try to do some kind of drill an individual or in a group period, because when we get together with inside runs, seven on seven or team, we expect those guys to get the ball at least once, otherwise they have a gas at the end of practice. Okay. And any questions with the rugby tackling? Anything there? Obviously I know some people are starting to look into that, some people ask me questions about it. I think it's been great for us. Uh, again, we still teach both ways. I don't think that's 100, we're not, I don't think we'd ever go 100% rugby. Our defense alignment has probably spent a total of 30 minutes the entire season doing rugby tackle type stuff. It's not so super realistic. I have a question for the rugby kicker. Yes. So it's about uh, getting the man in the backfield and not getting him to the ground, right? Um, no, you're still trying to get him to the ground, but you're trying to get him behind, and you're trying to go basically cheek to cheek, and then you're going to wrap up the legs. 